what 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 it's random time only got 30 for the show we, we be thrifting looking for a story this is gonna be awesome Randomonium, random randomonium randomonium random randomonium randomonium random randomonium randomonium random randomonium Welcome to Randomonium. Where we unfortunately do not have Snoop Dogg doing live commentary on our show. That would probably be a terrible idea. <laughs> did, but you, you, did you watch the YouTube, like, did, for April Fool's? Yeah, I did watch. Uh, oh, he had yeah. Double Rainbow, the Double yeah, Rainbow guy on yeah. there. But uh, YouTube did an April Fool's thing where at any video you could watch snoop vision which I think is a great thing and they should definitely tag market. Uh, uh, and you could watch a 360 video of Snoop Dogg watching the video with you right. in a theater with like two other friends. I don't. It didn't really add much for me. He's like he's like silent through halfway through of it, and no. then and he's like wow or cool <laughs> or something they like that. They gotta be vague so they can get him with all right, the videos. Right, right. Okay. But I mean, maybe he'd be really impressed with Random Show or something. Mm. Be like well, this is the coolest thing Sitting ever. Sitting through a half an hour of it. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop Dogg would be like, I, what? well, he gets paid for it. Who cares, right? right okay. um, other great April Fools were um, Quilted Northern had a, n a new toilet paper Ugh. that was uh, Rustic Weave. Handcrafted toilet paper that you can <laughs> actually feel. It was uh, kind of the equivalent to tree pulp, you yeah. know, kind of, <laughs> kind of like a wood. My favorite part about the commercial is the lady comes out of the bathroom and sits down and she's like, <laughs> And then it's like, <laughs> underneath they had a voice that's like, a toilet paper that you'll really remember. <laughs> like, it was oh great, though. Oh my gosh, that just sounds painful, though. Yep. But the one that got me was Take Five's newest product line, Take Six. <laughs> so um, it had the ingredients of all of Take Five's Take Five bars ingredients, mm -hmm. but also kale. Yes, and... Uh, I don't know why you would ever believe that they would include kale in your candy bar. <laughs> it was sponsored by Facebook, and <laughs> I thought they were just joining on to this California trend, you know, get them on there yeah, and the, the, have kale. The Cali people, they love kale. Yeah. They yeah, like So love why like, take six, right? Smart. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Idea. Although I, I agree that it could be marketable. I don't know if anybody in Iowa would be down for that idea. What's Maybe if they like crammed corn or beef into it, we'd be interested in the idea. Oh my gosh. But I had to tell you the disappointing news yeah, that that's not a like, thing. It's oh, not a thing. Awkward. But some great news is that our last show on May 1st is coming up. Oh Random my gosh. Oh it's going to be gosh. great. It's on a Sunday, not a normal Monday, but we wanted to make sure you could come out. It's at 8 p.m. in Anderson Auditorium. It's going to be huge. <laughs> Everybody's welcome to join us and experience a live television show right in Anderson. Yeah, and maybe. Maybe. Just maybe something special will happen. Uh, that may or may not be planned. Uh, well, we'll see if it happens. We can't always promise everything. But on the next show, April 18th, we'll have Robin Eddie Knudsen from the Stormlight Community talking about upcoming events like Hoopathon. Yeah. Yes. The free throw contest for Huntington's disease. Should be a great episode. You might even see us in some basketball gear. Again, we don't like to overpromise and under the lever. Yeah. But we do promise an awesome show tonight. Because all the way from Florida, we have the Disney expert, author, host, speaker, coach, entrepreneur, and father, Lou Mangello. <laughs> Man, I could keep going, but we'll see you after the commercial break with Lou. The man of the hour, or for our show, a half an hour. Yes. Mr. Lou Mangello. Welcome. Wow, hey. thanks for having me. Gosh, we're super excited to have you and your wisdom that you have. I will um, see. <laughs> so, just oh to give gosh. the people that are out there that might not know who you are, can you just tell them who you are and what you do as a career? Who am I? Okay, so I am, uh, I am Lou Mangello. I am a uh, recovering attorney who uh, took my love of Disney, wrote a book way back when in 2003, and it sort of snowballed into a site and podcast, and I ended up uh, selling everything I had in Jersey, moved to Florida, and I basically talk about Walt Disney World for a living. Wow. Jersey boy. Nice. <laughs> and you went to college at Villanova? I am. Right? Gotcha. They're playing tonight. I am, listen, I am missing the championship game. <laughs> oh you see how much gosh. I dig randomonium. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> there we, we go. Score I'm, update. I'm we cutting that a, right out of right. this <laughs> section. And that'll just be the promotion for the rest of our shows. <laughs> see how much we dig. That's, oh yeah, hopefully, gosh. hopefully it goes well for yeah. them. I don't know. I don't we know. can't talk sports. President Moore's, all, our president's all about the Tar Heels. So. Yeah. 
I'm out. <laughs> I told him, I told him I'm going for Villanova today, and he said he was going to kick me out of camp. <laughs> so, you know what happens. Oh, no. So, so, how did you get into Disney? Is there like a moment that you remember that you kind of switched, or has it always been a thing? It's always been a thing, man. Uh, my parents were big Disney fans. We drove from New Jersey to Florida. Do the math. That must have been magical. Uh, yeah. Like three weeks after the park opened in 1971. Wow. And went back every year, and I just became fascinated by the place from a really young age. That is quite early. You got yeah. lucky. You get yeah. to ride the train all the way through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you've seen changes over the years as well. Yeah. And liked all of them, I assume, or most of them? Most of them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, I'm a bit of a nostalgic, so things that you remember as a kid, um, you know, when they go away, mm. uh, usually it's a food item that I miss, but... <laughs> <laughs> Specifically food, of yeah. course, yeah. So outside of Disney, what do you like to do for fun? Who has time for fun? <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I'm really fortunate because my job is fun, right? right. And, you know, what I do, I, I love, um, you know, I tell my kids all the time, like, if Daddy had a real job, I would. But, you know, when you talk about what you love for a living, I mean, it really yeah. is fun. So, uh, but outside of that, I love to travel. Um, I love movies. Um, I'm a big Marvel and Star Wars fan, so. Gotcha. So, so that's still right still in the <laughs> Disney umbrella, right? <laughs> He's like, I can tell you what I do, but it'll all go back to the same <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my gosh. Um, so when you were a ch child, is that kind of what you, it sounds like you wanted to go into law, but um, so there was a hidden Disney thing behind that. Why did you, why did you pick law? Is there a reason over things at Disney or? Um, because Al Pacino lied to me. I mm. watched Injustice for All and I'm out of order and you're out of order and, and that. And it was very dramatic and theatrical to me. Mm -hmm. I was a theater major for a while. My dad was an attorney, and I really just wanted to help people. Mm -hmm. um, so I was a plaintiff's attorney. I did trial work for years. And I think I still like helping people. Now, instead of helping them with their legal problems, I like to help them plan and, and enhance their Disney vacations. Gotcha. Yeah. Right? Disney, man. Who we, does want to go on a Disney vacation? I don't know if you remember this, because, and I don't expect you to remember this at all, but both of us have been on that Disney experience with Jerry. Mm -hmm. Three years ago, I went and met you, and then... Two years two ago. Two years ago. Right. So I remember. You remember? Uh, sure. I remember. And, I have, a, and I have a quiz I, for you guys. Oh, like, no. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> it's like, I've got it all planned. Oh. <laughs> what is, uh, what's your favorite Disney attraction? Oh, man, I'm a nostalgic, so I go right to Magic Kingdom. Um, uh, I love the Haunted Mansion, um, oh, and I gosh. love Peter Pan, and I'm giving you a typical lawyer answer. I'm giving you three things, but I love the TTA. I love just riding around Tomorrowland and just looking at the views mm -hmm. and people watching. The Peter Pan ride is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I cried. <laughs> I just and then you cried because you saw that the wait was 200 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, but yeah. 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 It's Everybody loves popular. Peter Pan. Yeah. The twinkling lights. Okay, okay. So what's one of the coolest experiences you had, whether it's been traveling or eating or meeting someone or... <laughs> Probably shouldn't have included eating. I was, I I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> my, my mind went right to food, but I'll try. Um, I, I think because I'm a fan first, right? And I do my show as a fan um, and I talk about things that I want to talk about. And so for me, I've, I've met some amazing people and gone to some incredible places, but the coolest thing I ever, and I don't mean to sound like I'm name dropping, but I'm name dropping, <laughs> uh, was I got to interview Julie Andrews. Wow. No. So, like, and at the end of the thing, she was like, ooh, Lou, I'm like, Mary Poppins just said my name. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh crazy, crazy. How did you, I just give them a quick story on, like, how that all lined up. We dated for a while in high school, so I just, um, no, I, I really. I love that answer. I don't know why you continue. We just cut it, and then they'll, they'll believe it. They'll be fine. Um, no, I, I just, um, I was able to somehow, you know, Sometimes the internet is a miraculous thing. I was able to find a publicist um, and, and make a compelling argument. And he says, look, you got 10 minutes. She never does interviews. We'll give you 10, 15 minutes wow. tops. And 45 minutes later, we were still chatting. So wow. she's incredibly elegant and, and, and gracious. Grace, I, I talk for a living. Gracious <laughs> <laughs> and graceful is what I was trying to say. Gosh, how crazy. I get to ask a good question. Oh, okay. It's a very serious question that we ask on... We have a different question per season, and so this season we've asked everyone that's been on, and it's, would you ride a beaver? <laughs> An animal. As our mascot. Yes, our beaver. Okay. Beaver. Yep. <laughs> I was like, did he Beavers. say beaver? Did he say no, Justin no, Beaver? No. No. Would I ride a beaver? <laughs> no. Oh. No? Is there a reason why? Because I'm sure the PETA people would be really unhappy <laughs> if I rode a beaver. I think PETA <laughs> always comes out. Yeah, every, somebody's got to bring up PETA. Every season. Either that, they bring it up, or like the crazy, like aggressive behavior of the animal we pick. Like one right. time we had like hippos, and we got yeah. like a life lesson about how you shouldn't mess with hippos. <laughs> oh. 
It was quite crazy. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this part of the section, but we have a quiz Ooh. for you. Uh -oh. Nobody Tessie told me there would be math knowledge. on this. Okay. Right. I know you've been, you, like you said, you got up at what, four o'clock this morning? Yeah. So if he's a little Check tired, it. give him a little, we'll give him a little bit of credit here. So starting off with an easy one, well, it's a fill in a blank. It's a quote yeah. from a movie um, or a quote from Walt Disney. Right. So the first one, Akuna. Matata. All right, there we go. See, easy. Now it's a Walt Disney quote. All our dreams can come true if you have the blank to pursue them. Money. Courage. No. <laughs> 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 yep, he's right. Courage there. Ohana means? Family. There we go. He's rocking and rolling. Uh, I just can't wait to be king. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, the snow glows white on the blank tonight. <laughs> I was going to say the prophets tonight. Uh, on the mountain tonight. There nice. you go. <laughs> Even miracles take a little time. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of fun to do the impossible. There nice. you go. If you can dream it, you can eat it. Do it. No. <laughs> I like that. You said the slogan. Uh, and then. Look for the bear necessities. Simple bear necessities. necessities. See you after the commercial. Lou Mangiello is back with us, and we're going to learn a little bit more about his Disney life and his career. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. I made up all these questions. Yep, so I go ahead and start <laughs> off. <laughs> so tell us what's your day-to-day -day life. What do you wake up and what do you go do? Uh, every day is different. A typical life of entrepreneur. I'm, uh, I get the kids off to school, and I'm at my desk, you know, hitting it hard by about 7.15. And every day is different. You know, one day might be... Uh, I'm working on the show, I'm, I'm prepping, I'm doing research. Um, in addition to sort of the Disney stuff, I also have sort of an entrepreneurial side of my business. So I do a lot of speaking, uh, mentoring and coaching. So I might be working with individual clients that day. Um, pick my kids up from school, have dinner with my family. And then I usually hit it hard again by about seven o'clock and then bed maybe one, two, <laughs> three on an occasional. Which I think is pretty impressive. You're still, go still going strong on that one, two, three in the morning thing. Got to hustle, man. Yeah, wow. that's true. Wow. There's okay. time in the day. You got to use it. And and then you'll have days like this where you're <laughs> in Iowa. Like Iowa. <laughs> there are days that this, uh, this today was very much like I spent a couple weeks ago. I went to the Philippines where I've just spent, wow. you know, all day in a plane and in a car. So Yuck. <laughs> plane, plane travel. <laughs> it's just like, so uh, you had your own bracket for Disney from all the all the different treats, right? And your blog? Does that yes. Familiar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, I was <laughs> like, wait, I'm, yeah, you said bracket. I was thinking Villanova. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> sports, 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 just repeatedly um, in the mind. And so right now it's down to Mickey's premium ice cream bar and the Dole Whip, which I is your I believe, I believe a winner was just announced today. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It had to be done by like eight. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm going to say Dole Whip. Um, because it's it's healthy because it's fruit so okay. it's by definition by Lou Mangiello definition it's obviously healthy. You think that was the I winner did. then? I yeah. think so. I Gosh, think so. I, I do love a Dole Whip though. I like when like people try to like remake the recipes and I just hope somebody makes them for me one day. But <laughs> <laughs> you can actually creation? buy the mix and make really? it. Really? Yeah. No. Gosh, I have not done enough research on Dole Whips <laughs> apparently. <laughs> but I think you have to buy like uh. an 80 pound bag. So. <laughs> Jesus, that would be such a bad idea. Dole Whips every day. Yeah, you're like convincing <laughs> yourself, well, I have an 80 pound bag. So this might Lou said it's healthy, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lou said it's healthy. That should be the, just, I'm going to print it right on there so I don't forget. <laughs> so uh, a quick, t uh, quick t tip for the viewers. What are the best seasonal events or attractions happening right now at Disney? <laughs> so, see. shocker of all shocker, I, I'm going to go right to food related events. There's always something special going on at Disney, whether it's Halloween party, Christmas party, food and wine festival in the fall is awesome. But right now, it's Flower and Garden Festival, which may be okay. my new favorite because it's Flower and Garden mixed in with like a mini food and wine festival. So, you get the best of food and wine and all the beautiful floral displays and topiaries. The weather is nice. Mm -hmm. I think I mentioned that there was food there. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just repeat one more time, there is food there. Um, so I'm gonna backtrack a little bit out of current setting. Do you wanna give the viewers just an understanding of like the things that you've done? I know you've written a book, um, also things like you have a podcast. Just give them a lay down of some of the things that you've done in the past that they could currently maybe purchase or listen to. So I started out in 2003 by writing my first book. Um, I ended up writing two trivia books. I did a, a money saving guide to Walt Disney World. I've been podcasting mm -hmm. since 2005. Uh, I publish a video every week. I do a live broadcast every week. I used to publish a print magazine. Um, wow. I do um, virtual audio walking tours of the parks. And then I also have a team of blog writers and newsletters. So I like pushing out content in a lot of different ways so people can find the way that they're most comfortable consuming it. Mm -hmm. How big is your team? Um, I have about 30 
uh, volunteer blog writers and gotcha. newsletter editors and uh, pretty much everything else I do myself. Gotcha. Nice. Okay, so is there attraction or food at Disney that you haven't tried? No. Um, well, <laughs> I'm sure there's some food items I haven't tried. Mm -hmm. um, but I've ridden every attraction. I've stayed at every hotel except for one. There's a, um, a military-only resort called Shades of Green, which I've never had a chance oh, to stay in wow. yet. I, never, I, didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. No. Interesting. You think you'll ever, you'll, ever, you'll ever get into that? I have some friends who um, oh. are, if you're current or former military, you can stay, so I'm going to get them to book me a room. <laughs> <laughs> the hookups, that's oh, what it's that's all about. Gosh. Um, go ahead. Okay, so River of Lights, coming to Animal Kingdom. Is it going to be good? It's going to take a day experience to a night experience. It is not going to be good. Oh. It is going to be epic. Oh, <laughs> yes! Um, Disney's Animal Kingdom is going to utilize that river that's been sitting sort of dormant for years. They're going to bring the park to life at night. And for people that says, oh, Animal Kingdom's just a half-day park, that's going to go away. And I think that Animal Kingdom is not going to be a park to visit at night. It is going to be the park to visit at night between Rivers of Light and what's coming with Pandora yeah. and a few other things that they the haven't quite announced. Safari yeah. and, yeah. Yeah, I think there's a couple of neat other things that are coming that's going to make Animal Kingdom the nighttime destination. I, I was interested in, I saw the Pandora thing. I'm really interested in how they're going to do that visually. And so we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, one last question. What's something unusual to do in Disney? Unusual. All right, so we'll stay at Animal Kingdom. You can actually do something called the Wild Africa Trek, where you sort of get to go backstage and you don like this harness and you can sort of, it's as if you're going on like a real African safari, uh, where you can sort of walk this, this bridge over like these Nile crocodiles and they do this cool like sort of private... Uh, Savannah tour. It's awesome. Wow. wow. That sounds insane. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Okay. right. laughs> and I mentioned they serve lunch. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and the food's good, so don't worry about it. So up next, we have our game of the night with uh, Lou's Clues. Oh, Lou and another special guest. He's a big Disney fan as well. So You've seen him before. So stay to find out. See you after the commercial. Again, we are here to test the knowledge of Lou, but also we have a special guest, Jerry Johnson. Wow. Um, Look at you. And we're going to play a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful game of a similar game similar to Password. You're right. Called? Lou's Clues! Wow, Lou's Clues! Yep, that's about as excited as we'll get. We're all doing Lou's Clues. We're all doing Lou's Clues. I don't know what this is, we're but we'll come in. That's what he used to do in the yeah, game. Oh, well, Steve. Copyright yeah. or something, we can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. All right, so similar to the game of Password, um, so we have Jerry here with us. Um, we're team up against you guys. Yes. Zach and Lou. Obviously going so to win. So we're starting. We're, <laughs> we are the clue givers, and we'll, we are given a clue, and so uh, a word. A and word. And so then we have to give clues about the word, but they can only be one-worded clues. Yes, and that's And so we'll, they'll go back and forth until someone finally gets it, and then be your guys' turn. So understand. You, you guys understand. Viewers, sure. Maybe. I hope so. Okay, so you guys get I'll started. I'll go ahead and get started. Oh, gosh. All right, we're going to use this telepathic thing that we you. worked out before the show. <laughs> too many words. Feel yep. Uh, <laughs> too many words. Um, dragon. Figment. No, no. That's fair, though. That's fair. Okay, okay. Don't mess it up. It's okay. Mulan. Oh, my goodness. Eddie Murphy's uh, dragon. I can't think of his name. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. I don't know. Ah! Now they're going to oh, get it. Oh, how much time do I have? Um, I don't. I can't think of his name. Okay. Am okay. I going to, are we okay. good? Oh, uh, Mushu. Yeah! Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> there was a timer on that. Oh, yeah, where's the timer? I am sorry. Oh, I'm oh sure I've audio gosh. hated that screen there. Oh my ah. gosh. All right, so now this it is. is yeah, it's their guy's turn. Who? Should Jer Jerry? Jerry goes. Okay. All right, ready? Yes. Clooney. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, no. Don't worry. I don't know. Um, oh, I thought it would be. Cars? No. Nope. Nope. All right. Lou know. says, don't worry, so. Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. Futureville. Oh. Tomorrowland. Oh. No! 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 This guy's on Man. fire. <laughs> oh, oh, on fire. We're tied. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. So now, now Chelsea, or right. do I go? You can go. I, I go. Guess. I'll go. I don't know. Oh, see, this is the one that. <laughs> oh, right. I, I still think I'm okay with this. Um, I'm going to be very odd with this uh, egg roll. Hmm. Oh, um, that was a clue. 
<laughs> egg roll. No, I'm roll? not just feeding you. Oh. <laughs> like, we're not picking your... Adventureland. <sighs> nope, nope. That's good, though. Uh, well, oh, boy. Can I say if it's like yeah, a park? Yeah, I Animal get Kingdom? Oh, yeah, I can Yeti. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I Boy, yeah! Yes! That's right, <laughs> animal, that's I'm sorry, <laughs> Animal Kingdom. <laughs> We're bending the rules for him. We got, we got to feel bad. Yeah, for no, the old man needs some help. I got it. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. All yeah. right, so now, oh, yeah, we should have alternated. So yeah, now Lou yeah. will give. Okay. No sweat. Tangled. Uh, Rapunzel. Yes. What? Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. She looked at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> okay, okay, I got On fire. This. What are we? This. We are. Fl okay. Um. I hope they're keeping up with us. I don't know. Um, Got to go fast. I, I know. Uh, snow. White. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> thought that was the answer, and I had the one. I was like, "Wow, that was easy." Oh gosh. Um. Not gonna do it. Um. <laughs> Cole. Snow and coal. I like it. Is it coal? Coal. Like C O A L or C A L. Olaf. Olaf. Whatever. No. Okay. Yes. Olaf. Okay. No, it's Olaf. <laughs> All right. Uh, attraction. So, you can't show them. The Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. <laughs> I tried. So Whoa. I tried so <laughs> difficult. All right. Okay, and then maybe one more we got. All right. You know they mine diamonds, not coal, right? <laughs> 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 this is the worst. Oh, this is the worst. Yeah. We'll get it. Just go. Go. Spoon. Are we tied right now? Is there one ahead? Go, go, oh, go. Oh, that was a terrible, terrible um, one. Oh, I, I just set it up. All right, okay. Oh, I, I don't hey, she's hey. not done. Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, nothing. Mermaid. Uh, Ariel. They're ending it right now. Scuttle. Curry. Um. Happy birthday, Chris! Wait, 